Welcome to Talk with Trev, and I've got a special guest with me sitting right next to me, a raven-haired temptress terrorist from hell. Just kidding. It's my daughter, Jaden Olivia. This podcast is all going to be about what she loves to do, and it's probably mostly going to be about Minecraft and pizza and ice cream. And what else do you like to do? Um, I like to watch videos on my phone because um, there's funny things that guys do on YouTube. And who do you like to watch? I like to watch Jelly, Josh and Preston. And who are these guys? How do you know about them? Because I watch their videos and Josh is extremely selfish. Extremely selfish. What does he do? Okay, so when they get iron and diamonds, he just steals everything. Right, right, you're, you're talking about Minecraft now? Yeah. Right, right, okay. Okay, so when he steals everything, Jelly just kills him. Jelly just kills him? Yeah. Okay, so for those that don't know, where, how long have you been playing Minecraft for now? I think um, a year, and this is the second year, I think. Okay, so she's in her second year of playing Minecraft, which means that I've been playing it the same amount of time as you have, because you had a friend that showed you Minecraft, and that was it? Yeah, um, his name was Arahan, and we found Minecraft Story Mode on Netflix, and then I asked my dad to download it. And, and just so that everybody knows, um, Jaden is eight years old and going on 15 um, because she's a bit of a, a YouTuber, aren't you? Well, you're not a YouTuber, but you you like watching, you're a YouTube voyeur. You like to watch stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we got, we got, you know what? We've actually been talking for nearly three minutes, two and a half minutes. And I've, I've got some sense out of you. And that's a first for me because you usually just don't like these sort of talking things there. Eh? No. <laughs> So anyway, so uh, for about nearly two years now, we've been playing Minecraft and um, I thought it was pixelated bollocks and I wasn't going to watch it. And then I thought, well, I can't deny the terrorists from having fun playing Minecraft. And then we got the Minecraft story mode of Netflix. And then what happened? And then Daddy started playing it on the PlayStation 4. So then he got it on the PlayStation 3 for me so we can both play it. And then we tested out two player and then we can play at the same time. And that has been awesome. And how do you like to play Minecraft when you play two player mode? I just like to build a house, get myself a bed while daddy usually gets me a bed. And then um, I get pet. The most likely pet that I get is a bunny. And the reason why you get a bunny is because? Because bunnies are my favorite animals. Okay, and we're going to insert a picture of you and your favorite baby dudes, which is a little bunny, that you always take wherever you go, hey? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so Minecraft now, you like to just basically muck about in Minecraft. When you play on your own on Minecraft, how do you like to play it? Um, when I play on my own, I can make fancy houses at night. Creative. Not creative all the time. Um, yesterday, I made this crazy house with a cool staircase. It was a very cool house. And you also like to build like 17 furnaces. Why do you need so many furnaces? Well, you never know how many things you might want to smelt. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a logical answer to a very stupid question of course so when you play minecraft what are you scared of all the monsters like i'm not really that much scared of zombies and skeletons i fought one yesterday while building my house because it hit a horse and i didn't know what that was And also not so scared of slimes because the big ones are a bit of a problem and the medium ones, but the other lot is tiny and they don't hurt you because they're weak. 
And you say you like the the guys that introduced, well, not introduced, but you found them on YouTube. Who are those people? What's it? Slogo what? Slogo Man, Jelly, and um, Preston. Those are my favorite ones. Um, Quibble Cop and Craner aren't so much my favorites. Oh, dear. Why not? Well, because they don't do such great videos, and they're not as funny as Jelly, Josh, and Preston. Who's your favorite out of the three? I think it, well, Jelly's my third favorite, and Slogan Man's my second favorite, Preston's my favorite. So, Jelly, why do you like Jelly so much? Because he's crazy and funny. What does he do in when he's when he's playing with the other three? Um, or the other two? Well, um, he plays um, weirdly how he plays. When Josh steals, he just goes crazy. And he puts and he edits in all of these crazy sound effects and all the pictures. Cool. So, are we done talking about Minecraft now? Come on. I guess we can talk a bit more. Oh, thank you. I got permission from the boss. We can talk a bit more about Minecraft. What? Don't do that. I'm not the boss. Who is the boss here in this house? Mommy. There you go. The warden is the boss. Right. Okay. So, Minecraft. What's your what's the hardest thing to get in Minecraft? Um, the hardest thing to get in Minecraft, I think is a Nether star. Why? Um, because you need to get all the diamond gear on, and you have to get soul sand, three wither skulls, spawn in a wither, and then kill it, and it only drops one nether star. Getting a beacon actually might be harder, because you need to put the nether star in with five glass and three obsidian. Obsidian can only be mined with a diamond pickaxe, and it takes a while. That's why Jelly doesn't like to mine it. So... Who, who's the best miner in Minecraft out of those three? Um, I think it might be Jelly because he always ends up mining the diamonds, but Slogerman steals it. I thought Jelly stole the diamonds. Every time he saw diamonds, he stole them. No, um, he wants. Now he steals it because um, Josh always takes all of his diamonds. And what's the best part about Minecraft? The best part about Minecraft, you can build whatever you want and have fun anyway. And you can also play in Creative, which is a game mode that you can fly, you cannot die, and you get all the bricks that you want. You like that a lot, don't you? Mm. Why? I like to make houses in Creative and then change my mode into Survival and live nice because I add diamonds in my chest. There's one thing missing from Minecraft. Do you know what it is? What? Pizza. Yeah. Because pizza, um, that's very yummy, especially the ones that my dad makes. What's your favorite food? Um, I have a lot of favorites. It's all the sweets, cake, cupcakes, cookies, ice cream, pizza, and pancakes and waffles. All the bad things, basically. Yes. Is pizza bad for you? Not really, because the ones that my dad makes ha includes carrots, actual tomatoes for the sauce, and celery. Yeah, but I'll throw a little bit of sugar in there to sweeten it up. Did you know that? Wait, what? No wonder it tastes weird sometimes. Weirdly good, right? Yeah. What do you like on your pizza? Avocado, cheese... I will say this, the people that are listening to this podcast, Jaden is not very experimental with food. Why is that, my girl? Um, because I'm afraid I won't like it. But how do you know if you don't try? I don't. <laughs> There's a big grin on her face right now <laughs> to try and get her to be experimental with food is, is, a, is a wonderful task. Now, what else do you want to talk about? More Minecraft. Alrighty, go for it. Well... Um, in the house that I made, I earned iron immediately, and... Uh, how, how did you do that? Um, there was a bunch of holes in the area that I was building. I went into one of them, and I found a bit of iron. Simple as that. You just found a hole, and there was iron. Yeah, as simple as that. Come on. Well, 
Um, also in that house, I made a basement and it was so dark. I was just running to get torches out because I was afraid any creepers would spawn. Because if you know in Minecraft, if you don't put torches in your house, my dad made a mistake and said it must be dark or else mobs will spawn or else mobs um, won't spawn. And if you put torches down, they will. Well, actually, um, if it's dark in your house, mo a creeper might just spawn with skeletons, zombies, any mob, and then they'll just and the creeper will just blow up your house. How creepers blow up when they get close to you, then um, they start turning white and explode. And my dad doesn't know this, but there's something called a supercharged creeper. Wait, for reals? Yeah, the supercharged creeper is a creeper that got hit by lightning and when it explodes, its explosion is bigger than ever. Whoa, like it'll take your whole house out? Um, well, probably half of your house. Okay, well, let's not find one of those then, all right? Well, I'm just going to say it might take out half of my house, but that's pretty big of a chunk. What is the best way to build a house? The best way? Well, you need to first start off with, like, building, a, like, a tiny house, and then you can expand it and make a mansion. What's the, what's the point of having such a big house, then? Um, just to look good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because it looks good, of course. So, diamonds. Um, the game on Daddy's PlayStation 4, um, it said you need diamonds. Look at Y12. Y12, you can just dig straight down, even though that's against the rules. Because if you dig straight wait, down... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, there's a rule in Minecraft? Yeah, you cannot dig straight down, but that's only the second rule. Why can't you dig... Well, okay, hang on. What are the rules in Minecraft, then? Uh, I think the first rule about Minecraft is never dig straight down in the nether. Because, you know, you always end up in lava. In the overworld, it's also never dig straight down. Because you can also land in the lava pit where there's diamonds and you lose all your gear. Wait, you lose all your gear? Yeah. How come I don't know these things? Um, because I played more Minecraft than you. How many hours do you think you've played Minecraft for? Um, I think per day maybe three. Whoa, there's going to be a lot of people up there going, that's way too much TV time. Uh, I feel like it's actually much fun. Well, of course it's fun. I mean, that's the whole point, right? What do you like about being, and, and for every, anybody that's listening, we've been homeschooling for quite a while now. Let's ask the warden. We're going we're gonna to bring the warden in now. I have a three-way conversation. This will be very interesting. It'll give me a chance to take a breath. Okay, here comes the warden. The warden is the boss of this house. The warden. <laughs> <laughs> the warden is Susan Opie. Thank you very much, Jade and Opie. This right. is not my podcast, though. Well, it doesn't matter. It's a family podcast now with everybody involved. What do you think? Do you think we should let mommy have something to say? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been homeschooling now? The thing is, I'm not doing the homeschooling. You are. What's with the R? <laughs> oh my God, it's changing accents. This is one thing about my wife. She starts talking to people and she starts changing the accent to suit the people. Now, none of us are American, so I'd love to know where the hell the R came in from. Maybe the listeners are American. <laughs> I doubt that very much. All of 24 subscribers, come on people, subscribe to the, hit the notification button bell thing so that everybody, yeah, Jaden will say it. Okay, everybody please like this podcast, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Oh, I'll tell you what, this girl's going to be a YouTuber, I'm telling you now. We just got to get a, you know, it took me about a week and a half, two weeks to get you to actually agree to this. So back to Minecraft, what are the rules? Um, the, the first rule is never dig straight down in the nether because you end up in lava. Um, never dig straight down in the overworld because you could also end up in lava. But in the what world? The overworld is what you call the normal world these okay. days. Right. And the third rule, uh, I can't really remember. Um, What's more important out of those two rules? Um, the more important one is the first rule because you can actually end up with diamonds if you dig straight down in the overworld, but in the nether 
you always end up with lava. That's literally always what you get when you dig straight down in the nether. And I just remembered the third rule. It's something about the nether. Okay, so the third rule is when you go through a nether portal, always look. Whoa, what, what, what? A nether what now? A nether portal. You need about at least 10 obsidian and a flint and steel, and then you can light up a portal um, that allows you to travel to a different dimension. There's uh, two different dimensions, but I still think the overworld's better than both of them. The first one, you know, is the nether. The second one is where all the pro Minecraft players go. The end. There's a bunch of endermen, endermen or a tall man, three blocks high. And you can actually keep them as a pet, but they're just going to teleport out of your house. Are those the ones that have, like, the blue funny stuff and the weird eyes? Yeah, if you look yeah. at them, they, they attack. They attack. One hit, you lose half health. Second hit, you only have half a heart. Last hit, you're dead. Oh my word. And they how, just, how can you beat them? Well, you need to have full diamond armor, then they only take away one and a half health. And you also need a diamond sword. And if you kill them, what they drop is what you call ender pearls. That allows you to teleport yourself, but it also damages you. So how, an, a, a what now? A ender pearl. What the hell is an ender pearl? It's a circle in Minecraft when you. Um, press left two um, on the PlayStation or PlayStation three. Um, that allows you, and where well, that allows you to throw the ender pearl, and then um, once it hits something, that's where you teleport to. Bad. Whoa! It's so like a teleportation thingy, majiggy. Yeah, bad idea to do it in the Nether because you might miss throw it and it will end up in lava. Once it hits the end of the lava pool, you're gonna end up inside of it. Now, hang on now, because I remember this. We we played what did we play the other day? Skyblock. We were playing a Skyblock game and lucky a lucky block. Yeah, we were playing a, a lucky block game, yeah. and I went into the Nether. Into the end. the end, and he tried to take out the Ender Dragon. He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> and then when he teleported to a beam, um, he made it at least, but the Ender Dragon hit him off. When he tried to teleport to the other beam, he missed and he fell down. So that's the bad thing about Ender Pearls. You have to be careful where you throw them. But in creative, you can throw them wherever you want yeah. because you never die. Yeah, you can just go crazy, but. Yeah, if someone's playing with you, you're going to lose them in five minutes. What I love about seeing you play Minecraft is that when you play creative, you fly around with your elytra and your fireworks. Yeah, when you ha have elytra, you can't fly um, with elytra um, without fireworks in survival, but you can in creative. But... In survival, the thing is, you need fireworks. If you have fireworks, you can fly with the elytra. Do you know where the two places you can get the elytra from? Okay, the first one is easier than the second one. Um, the first one is looking in a pirate ship and get the treasure map. When you find the treasure, it might have the elytra in. And this is the hardest one. You go to the end, defeat the ender dragon, build across into the nothingness, and then you're going to find end temples. That's where the Elytra was originally born. And then once you um, go up into the end temples, there's a bit of parkour, the game creator. A bit of what now? Parkour. What is that? Parkour is like flying blocks, which you need to jump on. If you miss, you die. Oh, my word. But in the end temple, you just don't die. You just take a bit of damage. But it might be pretty high, so you might die. Alrighty, cool. Okay, parkour. Eight years old, talking about parkour and jumping on blocks and sky blocks and stuff. Now, the lucky block game that I got for you, when we, f when we first got it, I said, okay, well, I want to play it. Yeah, and he didn't want to play it afterwards because it was way too crazy. Yeah, it was nuts because it, it's like the lucky block game is you just click on a, a block and it opens up a manner of things. It depends what's inside of the block, right? Mm hmm All the YouTubers know what Lucky Blocks are because they all do Lucky Block races. Lucky Block races 
are when people have a race and there's a whole line of lucky blocks and whoever gets into the crown first wins and I watched Preston, Rihanna, um, Josh, not the slogan man, um, Josh the little brother and Keely um, or Nick play that and I think Oh no, Keely wasn't playing, it was Nick. And Nick won, Preston came second place. I think Brianna came last and Josh came third. Brianna. Brianna is Preston's wife, a big noob at Minecraft. <laughs> a big noob at Minecraft? Why is she a noob? Well, um, Preston um, said on one of his videos that Brianna asked him, how do you craft a crafting bench? You can see in their version, you don't get the option to craft it. You have to figure out how to craft it yourself. And everyone knows that if you... Okay, everyone that has played Minecraft will know that you only need four planks to craft one crafting table. Most people in America, I think, call it a crafting bench. I've heard you say before, oh my word, he's such a noob. Noob123. Who's that? No, it's not Noob123, it's Noob1234. Um, he is a big noob and surprised he actually made himself a channel. And what he does, he just uh, makes an impossible house for Preston to do and he finished that in like five minutes. What silly stuff does he do? Well, he made traps, which had a TNT saying, with a sign on top saying, pull me. And there was a lever on the TNT. And you can literally see that there was a TNT block. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what a TNT block is, it's a red block that says TNT. When you line it with the flint and steel, put redstone torches next to it, or even use a lever button pressure plate. It will um, just turn white and in a few seconds it will explode. We've seen that with the lucky block, haven't we? Yeah, it, the, one of the lucky blocks in the chat, it said unlucky and then it said it's raining cats and TNT. And what happens? And I died, but not really because I had a totem of undying with me. Alright, so what happens when the TNT rains from the sky when it hits the ground it explodes. And then what about the the anvils that come from? Oh uh, yeah that one is also unlucky and it says squashed from above. Daddy died but I learned um, from his mistake when it said squashed from above just run away because there's a huge square of anvils falling from the sky. Okay so there we go Minecraft 101 with Jaden Olivia. Awesome. Did you enjoy that little chat? Yeah. You want to do some more sometime? Yeah. Okay, not so bad, eh? Yeah. 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 Alrighty, Jaden, thank you very much for chatting to me. Mm-hmm. Anything else you want to talk about? No, not really. You want to go play Minecraft now, don't you? I do. How badly? So badly. Off you go. There we go. Try to Chev, and uh, we just had Jaden and Olivia... OP in the house talking to us about Minecraft and a little bit about pizza and food. All about Minecraft mainly. Alrighty, cheers.